Hey, good morning, everybody. Just a little bit of last minute Wi Fi adjustment there. Um, so, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Vince Smith. I'm a researcher in the life science department here. And it is my very great pleasure to welcome you to Informatics Horizons, which is a one day event where we're showcasing various museum informatics projects and various digital projects that are going on here now. I think when, when you're organizing a meeting like this, it's a bit like a party. You never know quite who's going to turn up. And I'm extremely grateful for um, uh, so many people showing at, at 9.30 on a hot, sultry uh, Wednesday. Um, this is largely an internal event, so there's going to be a lot of museum NHM-focused projects, but we do have a number of projects um, from Q that are being featured, and I know in our audience we have a number of people from Q, also NERC and BBSRC. The other big difference today is that we have an online or external audience. So this event is being live streamed via YouTube. So we've got three cameras. There's one up there on the podium. There's one on the projector. And there's also one on you, the audience. There's about a one minute delay with that. But uh, it has been, I wouldn't say massively advertised, but it's been advertised on Taxacom and a few other list servers. So um, I'll give you the URL of that in a moment. Um, and uh, uh, we expect a, certainly a little bit of an external audience looking into um, that YouTube um, presentation. So when I put this meeting together, really, I had two main goals. So as many of you know, certainly within the museum, there's all sorts of digital projects happening within ICT, within Science Group, and within PEG. But the communication about those projects isn't quite so good. So I thought this would be a really good opportunity to showcase some of those activities across the, uh, across the museum and give uh, certainly our own staff within the NHM a sense of what's happening. The other big development recently is that within Science Group, we've kicked off a number of big science initiatives. And many of those initiatives have a digital component. And so this would be a really good opportunity to showcase some of those initiatives and also capture some of their digital requirements. So a bit of a rundown on the program for today. We're split into various different sessions. The first session is really focused on a sort of high-level overview from ICT, public engagement, and science group on the various sort of high-level digital projects that are happening within the museum. We've then got our first keynote. Um, I'm delighted to say that Donald Holborn is here, or at least will be here, um, uh, shortly. And Donald will be talking on the biodiversity informatics landscape and giving us a sort of a broader sense outside the museum of the various digital projects that are going on. We've then, after the coffee break, got a session on uh, of lightning talks. These may be a little bit unfamiliar to you, and I'll talk a little bit about what lightning talks are after the coffee break. But these are basically rapid, quick-fire talks showcasing various digital projects. And also, we've got a few demonstrations as part of that. We've also end that session uh, with another keynote. We are enormously lucky to have um, Sir Nigel Shadbolt here. Uh, Nigel is a uh, hugely influential in government circles to do with open data, open government. He'll be talking about the, uh, the the UK government data portal and also the value of open data, an issue that's particularly relevant to us within the museum. After lunch, we switch on to some of our digital infrastructure projects and digitization. That session will be chaired by Dave Thomas. Then we've got another coffee break, and then we switch over to looking at some of our digital initiatives within the museum and capturing some of the requirements, the digital requirements from um, those projects. So just a few bits of housekeeping information. And this is what I was just rapidly changing just before we started. So we do, I'm informed, now finally have Wi-Fi. Not quite the Wi-Fi that we anticipated. And it's a different Wi-Fi to what's on your presentation. Um, but if you want to um, look in online, tweet, um, make uh, quest put questions in um, online, you can do so. There's some instructions on how to do that on the program. Um, and there's also the links there to access that online feed. 
Just a few quick tips for speakers. So the talks are either 15, 10, or 5 minutes, and I'll be giving time cues, and the chairs will be giving time cues at 3, 2, and 1 minutes, respectively. So if you've got a 15-minute talk, you'll get a 3-minute time cue. If you've got a 10-minute uh, talk, a 2-minute time cue, and a 5-minute talk, a 1-minute time cue. We have a lot of talks today, so keeping to time is going to be really important. Talking of which,